Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the early offer versus delay offer, like what is early offer, what is delayed offer and SIP. So let's start with the basic, like what is early offer. As you can see, so early offer is an initial SIP invite that is sent with SDP in the message body, right? So as soon as the calling, party is sending uh, is like just uh, entering a number like a 5000 or a 4000 number he or she will send a sdp messages in the invite itself so if they are sending in a sdp message in the invite itself that means it is an early offer right that means session initiator that is calling device sends its capabilities including supported codex Capabilities supported codex that means it will send the codec details like on which media like whether this is an audio call video call and on which codec it will work right whether it could be a g711 722 729 ilbc opus anyone they will send its capabilities right in the sdp contained in the initial invite and this method allows the called device to choose its preferred codec for the session. So as soon as the calling party sends an invite with SDP, at that point of time, the called device will negotiate and it will revert back in the 200, okay, after the negotiation, right? So early offer is the default method as well that is used by a voice gateway acting as a originating gate, right? Now we'll discuss what is delayed offer. So delayed offer is initial SIP invite that is sent without SDP in the message body. So on the first initial invite, there will be not any codec capabilities. So it will not send any codec details. So in delayed offer, the response from your cold party, which is coming in 200 OK, is the will, will be shown to you as an SDP messages. I will uh, show it to you with the example as well right and after that 200 okay the calling party will answer or we can say calling party will negotiate and then it will answer it in acknowledgement that is ACK. it will negotiate and then it will send it send the all the uh, codec details in the ACK itself right so let's just see the session initiator does not send its capabilities in the initial invite right but waits for the called device to send its capabilities first, right? The call device will send its capabilities first. For example, the list of codecs supported by the call device, thus allowing the call calling device to choose the codec to be used for the session. Let me uh, show it to you with the help of an example, right? So in this way, we can say there's a user agent one that is Alice and user agent two that is Bob. So user agent one is a calling party and user agent two is a called party. So this is an example of early offer. So as soon as user agent one, that is Alice, sends an invite message, right? That contains an offer. That means this is an early offer. And as soon as it gets the 100 trying, after that, it will get the 180 ringing and the 200 OK. So as you can see in 200 OK, it contains answer. That means this cold party already negotiated on those codecs and it contains the codex on which they will work, right? After this 200, okay, there will be an acknowledgement, but that doesn't contain anything. And after that acknowledgement, there will be an RTP and these bio messages will be there. This is just the uh, an early offer request, right? So let's discuss about the delayed offer. So in delayed offer, you will be able to see it will not send any uh, codec capabilities in the first initial invite. So there's a normal invite without SDP and this is a hundred trying after that. After this, you will get a 180 ringing and the 200 OK. And in the 200 OK, you will get the offer, right? And this offer contains the SDP capabilities. After this 200 OK, ACK will be there from the user agent one to user agent two. And that is after the negotiation. Here you can see ACK contains an answer in the delayed offer. And after that, your RTP stream will start and then there will be a buy-in 200. 
So let me show you with the help of traces as well. So here you can see how can I identify whether this is an early offer or a delayed offer, right? So as you can see, this is an initial, this is an invite message, I can say. Here it is showing up via, from, to, and all these details are there in this particular message. But in this particular video, I'm just concentrating on the early offer and delayed offer, right? So how will you identify that this is an early offer or this, this is, or it contains the SGP in the first initial invite? So you need to look out for this content length here. If it is showing something, that means if it is not showing zero, that means there will be an SGP message in this particular message itself. So if it contains content length something, like here it is showing 370, that means there are SGP messages. And this is the SGP message. You can see it up here. This is like version, origin, and then the main thing is this, that is media. So in media, you can see this is an audio call. They will work on this port, RTP, and these are the codec initials, or I can say the codec numeric values, 0, 18, 100, 101, and 90. And with the help of this, like here, you can see this is 0. That means G711 mu low, 18, G729 B low. And uh, here, you not B low, actually. This is just G729 B. And here, G729 B and extra B equals to yes, that means it will work on G729 B only, not on A or AB, right? Like in this way. And let's discuss about the delayed offer. In delayed offer, you can see all the same details, like in the it will show initial invite as well. As here, you can see invite via from to all other things will be same. Now you need to look out for this particular content length. So as of now, you can see it is showing content length as zero. That means there is no SDP messages in this initial invite. So if there are no SDP messages in the initial invite, that means this is your delayed offer, right? And let me show it to you on the CUCM as well, like where uh, you can, if you want to uh, enable that particular early offer, or if you don't want to enable that, where you can do that right so main thing is that is the one option is media termination point required under the gateway or i can say once uh, we are configuring the sip trunk let me show it to you on the sip trunk itself so for that you need to go to device and then trunk and as soon as you are adding a new trunk it will ask for all other details as well but i will show you where you can uh, find out that particular media termination point required option. If you check that option, that means every call which is coming, which is going from COCM, it contains or it will contain an SDP. If that option is not checked, that means from COCM, it doesn't contain an SDP. You can make that change on the gateway also. If you are not selecting that a particular option on COCM, but you can enable that early offer on the gateway as well. So let me just select here SIP trunk. And once you select the SIP trunk, it will uh, automatically select the device protocol as that will only work on the SIP. And once I click on next, you will be able to see those uh, many options as well there on the SIP trunk, which is required. So these all are the options which uh, you need to select once you are creating a SIP trunk. But the main option that is this media termination point required. So if you enable this option, that means all calls will go as an early offer. And if you uncheck this option, that means this is a delayed offer call. That means any call which is going from Cisco, it will not send its capabilities, right? I hope you get my point. And if you are not checking this media termination point required, but still you want an early offer uh, also, like your ISP is saying we need an early, we need capabilities from you. Then you can push, put a command on your gateway as well, like uh, early offer forced. So if you put this command on gateway, it doesn't matter whether you are getting early offer or delayed offer from the Cisco. At last, you are going to going on a gateway. That means that will be an early offer because you already put that command on your gateway.
right? So I hope uh, now you know the difference between early offer as well as delayed offer. If you have any uh, queries, questions regarding this, just let me know in the comment section and then I will surely reply all the queries. So there is one more thing I just wanted to tell you. If you want to uh, schedule any of the session with me, then you can go to this link topmate.io slash Rohan underscore Virmani and you can schedule the sessions as well. And there are a few of the memberships which I am providing on the YouTube as well. So you can go and check it out as once you are on my uh, YouTube channel link or on the video, you will be able to see the join button. Then you can click on join and you will be able to see all these perks on different levels as well. Right. So this is the highest level perk uh, on which I am giving the uh, training on SIP session that is for eight hours and then MS Teams admin training as well. And all the previous perks from the previous levels as well, like the resume creation trips, PowerPoint slides, exclusive member only videos. So all other things will be there. You can go and check it out. I hope you learned something from this particular video itself as well. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any of the queries. Thank you.